The final game on this Friday night at the World Nines. It's the Commons, Papua New Guinea against the USA. Weren't Australia worth the wait? An excellent performance over New Zealand, both the men and the women. We've seen every team in this tournament now, except for the Kummels and USA. So everyone plays one match tonight, everyone plays two matches tomorrow. And there's some familiar names in this Kummels outfit, but there is one that you might not be aware of, but well worth watching. Edeni Gabay, the fullback, has been signed by South Sydney, and he is lightning. He has torn up the Queensland Cup this year, so keep an eye on him. And there's Team USA. There's a few familiar faces there as well. The likes of uh, Eddie Pettiborn, who of course remember from the NRL, Junior Vivi, and Ronaldo Mulatalo can play. A terrific season with the Sharks. So here they come, the Americans. A real mix of uh, players from here in Australia and all over the US professional league. They have a local comp, 11 teams, like the Philadelphia Fight and the Jacksonville Axemen and the Brooklyn Kings. So uh, rugby league going nicely in the US of A. Yeah, it's a little bit of the unknown here for the Tomahawks. Great opportunity for them to come here to Australia and come up against Papua New Guinea. We know how big the game is over there and it's a growing nation. They're getting better every year. And it's a great challenge here for Ronaldo. He gets an opportunity, the Cronulla Sharks superstar to come up against the PNG Kummels. So a challenge for both these sides because they're in Pool A, that is the Australia and New Zealand group. So this obviously is an absolute must win. And here, the Kummels outfit. You'll know Justin Oldham, of course, Kyle Labert from the North Queensland Cowboys, Reese Martin from the Canterbury Bulldogs, now with Leeds. And... Uh, Denny Gabay, there he is from Wynnum Manly this year, 19 tries in 22 games, and as I said, he's off to the Bunnies as they search for a fullback. Yeah. A great opportunity for him to shine in this tournament and put his best foot forward for the South Sydney Rabbitohs as an outside back. So here we go, the final game on this opening night. Oh, it's a challenging kickoff. And it is recovered, but no, it is called a knock on. That's a terrible start. And Joe Eichner puts one down there. He's from the Northern Pride. He can play, but he'd like that moment over again. Yeah, he certainly would. The New Guineans deciding to put that one deep. Knock on in goal. Horrible bounce for him. They should have been able to handle that a little better. And now the short restart. Geez, that replay might have been a little hard done by there, Eichner. But here come the Kummels. Let's see what they've got in attack here first up. Kawara Jr. now. Sends it out here to Watson Boas. Plenty of experience there, and that's Justin Olin, but his pass is too hard for Boas. So the Kummels let the first opportunity slip. Yeah, not a good start there, Dan. The first tackle. Olin really threw it absolutely through Boas. Yeah, no patience there. Olin almost split the defence of the, the Tomahawks, and you would think off the back of his play the ball that they would have gone very close to scoring. No need to try for the miracle pass. The Americans here, they're struggling. A couple of tackles in, still inside their, their 20. They played the uh, the Kummels in the oh. 17. Well, oh. covers Olin. Delivers a blow. The Kummels are always good for a few of these. Those big shots out of the line. And that's Connor Donahue with the kick. Nice left-footed uh, loping kick downfield. And bringing it back here is Terry Wapi. Uh, the PNG Orchids we saw earlier, the women's team, they went down to the England Lionesses. As now Olam lines up. And he can't get rid of Mulatalo. NRL player on NRL player. Again, a late offload. Too late. Penalty to the USA. Yeah, he's passed it off the ground. Uh, that's two, twice now. And he's there. He's the man with NL, NRL experience. Finished the year in front. Was that, was that Gebe going off the field with a bloody nose? And there's Olam. I've got no problem with the call going against. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's probably just a little bit of anxiety there from Olam. Trying to, trying too hard. You know, he knows he's a key player. He knows he's had a great season for the Melbourne Storm. He wants to make a statement. But his first two plays, not the way to go about it. Oh, you're with Americans now. Nice run down the middle. Charlie Jones. That ball was ripped out. What looked two on one. And the referee agrees. Oh, there was 
a yeah. good solid two players. Well, in they're, that gonna, they're gonna play the Tomahawks into this game, New Guinea. Here's Danny Howard over the 20. Born in Los Angeles, plays for Wentworthville. And Donahue. Out to Charlie Jones. Keeps it going here. Corey McAllen. Almost there. Release him. Get up there, Jim. Well, here come the Americans. Donahue. Howard. Oh, the dummy. That's not fooling them. Reese Martin with first contact, but the late offload. Here's Joe Eichner. That ball came out, and this time it's a knock on. So a chance goes begging there for the Americans. Well, they had a three on two there, Eichner, on the left hand side, and he threw the dummy before that. It was Donahue who came up with the, with the dummy when there was space out wide, so. A couple of missed opportunities there for the Tomahawks. Yeah, the offload should have produced a try. The offload almost, almost did. They just weren't good enough to get it across the try line, which New Guinea will be feeling a, a little better about. They've started this, this game with a, a flurry of errors. And this is uh, Watson Bowers, the halfback, playing it. And now, the number 16 is Moses Meninga as they hair downfield. Here's a, an opportunity, but the ball comes free and it's picked up by Macklin. So now the Americans back inside PNG territory. Out it comes for Eichner. Well, they, they just need to settle. They, they, they've got the ability, they've got the talent to break open this USA defence. They just can't hold the ball. And now, going down the sideline, the Americans are over. It's Junior Vivi, the former South Sydney Rabbitoh and Penrith Panther. And the, and the Hawks are off to a flyer. Yeah, this is good work from Asiata, the most experienced. Oh, no, it's not Asiata out of half there. It's Faramo who comes up with the play down the short side. And Vivi scores the try down the left-hand side. And after having, well, all of the possession, really, because of their incomplete sets from the... PNG side who have been so impatient the Tomahawks have capitalised. Well, they've just tried to score off, off every play. Papua New Guinea, that was terrific work there from Beretta Faramo, who used to play, used to play here. Mm. Parramatta, Parramatta Stadium, played for the Eels, went down the short side. Oh, this is tricky. The Kummels come up with it. So now, here's a zip and run. This is uh, the Papa winding up. Side. So, something earlier, they did meet these two nations at the World Cup. Vastly different scenario. That was in PNG. As Kyle Labor down the middle, goodbye. And he'll get the bonus point as well. So, just like that, the Kumuls will hit the front. Yeah, Labor, good work here. Nice footwork, left foot step. Florimo, I think it was from the Tomahawks, comes out of the line and he just beats him on his inside shoulder. There it is. One on one with plenty of space either side and the speed and footwork from Labert just all too good. Gee, wasn't there some space around that that single defender there? Jay Florimo, son of Greg Florimo, on his own. On his own, one off the ruck. There, there wasn't another Tomahawk within cooey of him, and once Labert put the footwork on him. All at sea, wasn't he? Well, he's not a miracle worker. He is. What could he do? He needed, he needed to be Inspector Gadget in that long Oh, yes, Reese Martin puts one on Florimo. He's having a good night. Attempted heavy hit. Watson Boas there went in hard. As Veve gets up to play it a little gingerly. He comes out to Vivi. Oh, Ramo, but Faramo's lost it. And here he goes. Here's Gebe. Oh, he's only in second gear. And the Kummels get back-to-back -back tries. Well, it was a horrid start from the Kummels. They've come up with a, a great individual try through Labert, and then well, just in the right spot. Terrible pass. Could be handled. Really not much space down that touchline for the American player. Vivi -vi throws the ball. Brenna Faramo couldn't handle it. And the man we've been talking about, Gebe, just plucks it out of the sky and runs the New Guineans into the lead. You can go quicker, Brandy, I promise you. Comes off for a little 
rest no. with the, the kick. Uh, so he's in 11 4. Is he, is he at a car fast or? Ooh, let's not say things we can't take back, Brandy, but um, he is uh, zippy. Okay. Jeez, didn't Josh at car look good in Australia's win over New Zealand? Yeah, here's Connor Donahue. Good run. That's a great run, Connor. We've uh, read stories this week. Of course, his dad, oh, part of the Melbourne the Storm system for many years. And fly him up. Qualifies through his US born grandfather. He's now he comes outside to Macklem, who plays for Sheffield in the English Championship. He's going all right, Corey Macklem. So the Americans here. Some, uh, oh, hello, one on one steal. Beautiful play by Pape. So the Kummels have got 40 seconds to get their third try. Yeah, that could be a big play just before half time. And then axed in the tackle here. They look fast with the ball in hand, the Kummels. And they have settled, haven't they? And here's Wapi down the right side. Well, there's numbers left. They just need to get the ball there. There's only 20 seconds to go here. And certainly open it up. Here's Labert. Getting it on now to a Pape. Pape needed to pass the footy. And we get the what's likely to be the last play of this first half. Reese Martin. He goes to Meninga. That's Moses Meninga. Keeps it along the line to Wapi. The little grubber. Oh, oh here comes Gabay, but he can't handle it. And now, hello, the Americans. What can they conjure up at the death? And that's risky. And we continue. Now the referee puts a halt to proceedings. And that was slightly anticlimactic. <laughs> three tries in the first half. It's the Kummels leading the Hawks 11 points to four. Eighth and final game on this opening night of the Down a World Cup nines. And here's a Denny Gabay scoring Papua New Guinea's second try. And South Sydney bound fullback giving the uh, Kummels an 11 to 4 lead over the USA. Yeah, the, the Kummels, if they can control possession, they should run away with this. They've got so much speed, they're athletic, uh, they've got so much skill, but they just haven't built any pressure at all, have they, Brandy? No, they just have to stop trying to score off every play. I, I know it's they're here to entertain, but if they want to win the game, they just have to just reel it in a little bit. And you're right, if they hang on to the ball break, they've, they've got enough athletic ability and, and skill to, to run away with it. Stay, on the side. Stay tuned, because once we're done here with this final game, Bonnie and the team will take you through all the highlights of this uh, opening night. The two Australian sides winning. The Cook Islands making a statement with a, an emphatic win over the... Tongan Invitational side, and England looked good earlier with a comfortable win over the Welsh. Papua New Guinea get going here with Gary Lowe, slipping away, and now he puts the foot down. Gary Lowe! It's the Kummels' third try as they extend their lead. The man from Carcassonne has uh, gone here the distance. And PNG now really in their groove. Yeah, 15 4 now with a kick to come, and it was Gebe, the man we spoke about, just drifting across the field. Justin Ollum just drops it off to the inside into his winger, who had plenty of speed there. 
Carcassonne, is that where you did your backflip, Brandy, for the Australian uh, team? Perpignan. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, almost in the same region, but... All, all the same, isn't it? Carcassonne, <laughs> Perpignan, Avignon. <laughs> They're all next to each other. How did you go in the old sevens, Brandy? You would have torn that competition up, wouldn't I, you? I didn't like the sevens, Dan. Oh, You're kidding. Seven. I would as soon as you too. So he is Jay Florimo. Oh, the uh -oh. late offload here as Dave Washington feeds it on to Charlie Jones. There's a couple of American names. David Washington and Charlie Jones. I think nines is a much better game than sevens. And now, Mark Offerdale, the veteran under Washington. And USA haven't had much ball of late. They did score the first try, remember. As Jerome wow. Veve loses it. So it's all going wrong for the Americans. Here's Gabay. Oh, the late offload, but straight to Veve. But the Americans just lack a bit of speed. They, they seem to have a lot of big bodies. And uh, to win in the nines, if you don't have the speed and athleticism that your opposition, the Kummels, have, you've got to control the ball. Now, they've only completed three of nine sets. The Tomahawks, and I'm sure it was the first three sets of the game. They, they've been shocking since. So both these sides uh, will play tomorrow against Australia and New Zealand. That's a strong burst. That's uh, Nixon put. So on the 20. Comes out the low, the last try scorer. Wrapped up by Ryan Burrows. And now here's Gabay going for it. Oh, lovely tackle there by Washington. Terrific try saver. Here it comes out to the left. And that is a man who gets it over. And that's four tries on the trot for PNG. Yeah, quite a simple try here. It's power of possession, domination. Gebe nearly gets over. They scramble well. Washington with a great tackle, but it's, it's a beautiful pass. I um, mean, gets that try on the left-hand corner. I mean, it wasn't enough to do too much, but out in their feet, the Tomahawks, completely gone. They are shot at the moment. They need the ball back. They need it back quick. So that is a wild conversion there, as well away. So after New Zealand went down to Australia, the uh, Papua New Guinea New Zealand game tomorrow afternoon is likely to decide who will join Australia out of this group into the uh, semi finals. Release the ball, 14. Hey, all the way. So the Americans now. Just working it up here. They had a pretty rough uh, World Cup back in 2017, including a 64 to nil loss to the Kumals. Here's a, a little chip and chase. Oh, and almost the recovery there. That was Mulatalo. He almost got the ball back. And now Watson Boas putting the foot down and heading home. It's another Papua New Guinea try. Well, they started so slowly, but they're scorching home now. And Ronaldo Militalo, a little chip over the top, almost regathered. A touch by one of the Kummels, couldn't drag it in. And then on the counter attack, well, they make them pay for the speed. One hand flick. Watson, Watson Boas, enough speed just to keep the distance from the, the Tomahawk defender. Yeah, three years at the Hunters in the Q Cup and now Featherston in the UK. Seven test to his name, Watson Boas. Good kick. Tomahawks are exhausted. They need to find something. Militalo is the man, I think, to get in there and get involved. The most experienced player on the side. Yeah, I, I don't know about the Tomahawks fitness across no, the, they're across in the trouble. <laughs> they're in trouble, Brady. They were gone five minutes ago. They're, they're opening three sets with their best. <laughs> so here's Bulatalo. And now comes Veve. Oh, has he been hurt in this tackle? No, even worse, he's lost it. <laughs> so yet again, the Kummels uh, get some good field position here. They can really put some points on the board in these uh, last three minutes, you fancy. They just hold on to it. The Americans are shot. And it's sent out here to Olin. He had a rough start in the game. Now Gabay. The left foot step, the left foot step. 
Gets away from Jones. And well, now comes the short side. Here's Russell with the grubber. Here's Russell with the chase. And Russell with the regather. Lovely work from the young North Queensland product. Yeah, it was lovely. And, and I think players do have to realise that there is no fullbacks. No one plays fullbacks. So if you can get the weight of your kick right and get it through the defensive line, you're always a chance to come up with the footy. And if it's in the tri if it's in the, the in goal area, well, very likely you'll score a try. It's a great kick, great vision. Because as you mentioned, without a fullback and under fatigue, it's hard for the players to get there and cover it. Uh, unless the open winger is always ready to 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 come back in field, it's it's a very very hard play to defend. That's uh, Coach Fabio uh, for the USA. <laughs> Man, wouldn't you love to have that here? That was beautiful. So uh, he conditions. So here's uh, Eichner. That is beautiful. Here, a little wheelbarrow there from. Yeah, just got him up in the air. Yes. Well, let's see if the Americans come, can come up with something right at the death here as Donahue puts it into touch. This might possibly be the first time they'll enter Kummel's territory since the break. Florimo. Oh, big hit, but well done by Florimo getting through that Olin tackle. Washington. Out to bye bye. The American try scorer. Nice food. And now the Under Armour. That's a lovely pass out to Mulatalo. The defense converges, and now Mulatalo, the desperation pass. Eichner. Oh, oh. Stargroth Armin with the tackle there. Doesn't matter what form of the game, they find a way to put Pepper in tackles. The Kummels is. Uh, and it comes across to Mulatalo. Oh, it's a kick for the corner. Oh, lovely. That's a beautiful try. And Beretta for Ramo. He set up the first try and he scores the American second. Nice way for the Hawks to finish. Uh, they just haven't had enough footy. They've only been able to get through five sets. Kummels will play very good in the second half, but Ronaldo Mulatalo was a shark this year, also won a competition with the Newtown Jets. Great job there to spin out of the tackle. Just lobbed it into the lap there of Beretta for A yeah, nice kick here too to, to convert. If, I, if I'm a coach, I, I'm playing Ronaldo Militalo on the ball. I'm playing him six or seven. I think he's wasted over there in that left hand side. He's come looking for the ball more in this second half at the end of the game when it's all over, but he's got to touch it as much as he possibly can for them to win a game. Just enough time for one final restart. And that wraps things up. Over 50 tries on this opening night of the Downer World Cup nines. And a very solid victory by Papua New Guinea to end the night. It was Papua New Guinea 27, USA 10. So we'll see the Kummels tomorrow, 1.45 Australian Daylight Saving Time. They take on New Zealand. They're gonna spring an upset. They wanna improve their, uh, their kicks for goal. Only one conversion. But uh, once they got over the hump the first two or three minutes, Oh, formidable, and uh, got the job done against the Americans, who will see play against Australia early tomorrow when action recommences here at Bankwest Stadium. Rhys Martin, nice to see him back on Australian shores. He's uh, at the Leeds Rhinos these days. And uh, Papua New Guinea, their fans quite happy with their work tonight.